Hello, Barbies and Kens. Hello, friends. What's up? What's up? What's up? Today, for you guys, I'm going to be drawing your attention right here because actually, can we do a. Uh, can we just. Wait up. Let's just. You're going to see me. Hello. Put it like this. Yeah. Okay. Loving it. Today, ooh, for you guys, I'm going to be getting rid of some stuff. I'm going to be doing. A couple odds and end things. Um, yes. I am auctioning off auctioning. Can I even talk today? You're not even going to see my face in this because I look gross anyway. So that's fine. Not auctioning off, but more like you're going to be able to buy some of the stuff I'm going to be showing you today. As you can see from in the thumbnail. So let me toss in a little couple of these aside. We can just start with the doll since she's up here sitting nice. So as you guys know... I don't have money right now. I'm trying to get rid of some odds and ends here. So this is going to be like my own little like Poshmark sort of like buy my stuff. My Instagram page is going to have all of the stuff that you can get. But also you're going to see like clothes and things here that you cannot see on my Instagram that you'll be able to purchase if you are interested. And after this live stream, it's just a direct message to me on which items you were looking at. And yeah, and some I even just put up on the Instagram. It's called Little Sweet Sales. You can get the links or any kind of descriptions for Instagram or names, usernames, I guess is what I'm trying to get at, on my Instagram as well. And that's, you know, description box of my older videos. If you're a subscriber of me, if you're not a subscriber of me and it's the first time you're watching this, please thumbs this up and subscribe to me. And yeah, let's move on with the video, with the thing. So, for this girl, I'm probably asking, like, 10 bucks. Um, that's the condition she's in. And honestly, if she doesn't go, I'll probably end up keeping her. She, I won't pursue. Oh, and she still has her little thing from when somebody unboxed her in her head. Do you see that? Wow. But, yeah. She's in great shape. And I'll probably keep her, like I was just about to say, if she doesn't get sold. Because she is just so freaking precious and cute. She is... Disney animators Pocahontas. Pocahontas. There she is. And I was asking like 10 for her. She's up on my site. So nice and sunny to this day too. I figured I'd give you some like bonus fun video to look at. You didn't even get your bar miss video today. You guys are going to get your, um, if you guys aren't familiar with my channel, people on YouTube do vlogmas. I'm doing bar miss where I'm going to be putting up like a video every day, holiday related. So yeah. Next product up is this purse. This is actually a Betsy Johnson purse. I had barely used this purse ever just because of its small size. I am not a small purse kind of gal. The inside is really like clean though and cute. This like kiss mark print on it. Very cute, very cute, very cute. Long strap. Got that. I'm getting rid of. And for the purse, I was asking 15, but for you guys, I would honestly say 10 just because. Hello, it's you guys. And I'm trying to get rid of stuff, obviously. There is a Thanksgiving turkey here that says eat ham. It is precious moments. This thing is spotless as can be. Look at its little, what do they even call this? Some little, I was going to say the little gobble gobble. These are the little gobble gobbles. This is, and they have little beans in here too. It's just so cute. It's a little fan butt. That, precious moments. And for him, I am asking the magic number today of ten dollars. That literally is like my magic number of like how much is something. These I was gonna try to sell together, but separately I would do five. They are Build a Bear Peace Bears, so there's the one. There's the other one. I wanted to try to sell them together for ten, but I would separate if it came down to it. He is so fluffy, this, like, little blue bear. He's a cutie. I'm trying to store stuff in my little Disney bag. And here's the other one. He used to talk. 
He unfortunately does not anymore. Okay. Moving on. There is this Apple Lego house. Do you guys see this? Inside of it, it comes with these little Lego pieces. <laughs> and little mushroom table and whatnot. This is really old. I don't know if this is strawberry shortcake. I have no clue what it is, and I've done research, and I just haven't been able to find out what it was. Um, it is from Lanard 2005, so I don't know if that's helpful or anything of the sorts. I'm not really asking three bucks on this because of paint chipware, you know, just I don't know what's up with it. So three bucks on this. This is also available on Little Sweet Sales on my Instagram. And if somebody's interested in something and they directly right now send me a message and I see that on my Instagram, you will get that item before somebody else who would, like, you know what I mean? I will see like the time date that you wanted that item before somebody else and you will get it. So just so you're aware of that. These I'm gonna try to do as a set together. I would, should I throw these all together? All these like little miniatures, should I just throw them together as a set? Should I? I don't know. Okay, so we have this little, my little pony, this Ice Age guy who's in package, and then this is like a plastic Snoopy, two Slo Sloans, I was gonna say swans. The one wing is busted on the one, this one is intact. Very good. And then I don't know what this is made out of, like, a metal of some sort, but it's this little figure of this woman. It has, like, some weight to it. I want to say for all of this, three bucks that you see right here. So if you're interested in this pile, you can message me. Um, the comments that are live, I will see them, and I'll acknowledge them, but you still need to message me on my page. If you're like, oh, I would like that, like, message me on my page still. And there's lots of clothes and different items to come to, guys, so if you see something that you're not interested in, just let me know, and we'll figure it out. Actually, this, I'm gonna have to take a picture of them, so I'll put that aside. Put that there. What do you want to look at next? Uh, we're gonna look at this next since it's in the box now for shipping purposes you will not, uh, if you want to pay the shipping on the box you can have the box the box is a madam uh, vintage madam alexandra box so if you want the doll in the box you can pay for the shipping for the box because obviously that's expensive if not i will just send her as so this is the Madame Alexandria, bleh, Madame alexandria i should have brought a water up for this sleeping beauty doll she is from my personal collection, and I've decided to part with her because of, like I said, holiday Christmas money, yada yada. I'm asking for her $15. She has her whole entire outfit. Hair is beautifully intact still, and I don't know. I just love her. She's just so, like, dreamy, I guess. It's, like, so silky, like, her little robe and everything, and the details on the dress are gorgeous, and has the tag so I figured 15 would be a fair price on her and if you're interested in her doll box that would be like an extra shipping because like obviously to send her it would be nothing but this box is a little ratty and beat it up I will admit to you, you can see that but it's her I believe original box so if you wanted it with the doll I could send it let me throw that aside. I don't know if I should do the clothing on here and just make this like the toys and then I should just film the actual clothes video. I think I'm just going to film the clothes portion actually for you guys tomorrow because I have a lot of clothes I'm getting rid of but I could do a clothes portion and eventually put it up if not even tomorrow throughout the week. So there is clothes though that I can put up and show because like I feel like when you look at a shirt, you're like, how would that fit, though, and, like, the size-wise? Like, I'm an extra small small, so if that's, like, helpful to anyone. I have stuff that does run a little bit bigger, though, that could fit somebody. Okay, moving on. Would I send these... Oh, see, I usually sell these, this kind of stuff online. I have these glasses, and I would consider sending them out, I guess, in the mail. Uh it just is nerve-wracking because it's going to need a lot of bubble wrap. 
this is what they look like. I have a set of five here of these glasses. That's like the indentation on them. I'm like a little antique dealer, am I not? I'm doing so well so far. <laughs> so I have this set of glasses. I have them right now just in like a bucket wrap so they stay intact. So if you're interested in those, I do not have a link to those on my page or any kind of like buying thing to show them because as like the whole set together because I don't usually sell glasses online, but for you guys, I would definitely. I have this genie from Aladdin who's in his little genie container, whatever, his lamp. <laughs> I like how I'm just like, whatever, when I don't know what something is. I hate me. Uh, it's by Mattel, surprisingly. Well, I guess because it's a doll head. Usually Mattel is just like Barbie and all those odds and ends. This is 1992. And he does come out of his little genie container. Oh, look at his body. It's like a plush body. That's really cool. I actually do love him. But you guys, if you are familiar with my channel, have seen my room, I have so many toys I need to like, I need to get rid of some stuff. So for him, I'm asking the magic number of, how about let's say, I don't know what I have him for sale on my page as, but let's say like eight bucks, 10 bucks, something in that order, eight or 10, I don't know. So there's Jeannie. Uh, let's keep going. This is my planner for all my YouTube videos. That's good, I found that. Okay, let's go through this bag right here. I hope you guys are enjoying this. If you do, please thumbs it up and share. We are gonna take a small break real quick and I will be right back. All right guys, I'm back to show you more stuff that I'm getting rid of. This is a pretty much kind of a two-parter. The second part of this live stream that you guys are gonna see will be in a couple days and it's gonna be closed, so stay tuned for that. But for now, we're gonna be moving on to this bag right here. Let me see if there's any comments, questions, suggestions. Okay. I'm going to start with one of my personal favorites, a doll. Now, I am 0.95% sure that this doll is made of bisque. If you don't know what bisque porcelain is, it's a little bit heavier and a little bit more expensive. And one of my favorites, personally, it's beautiful. It just has a certain look to it, a certain feel. And this doll is made of that. I love that her nails are painted. I think that is super duper cute. And her little blue dress is very, very cute as well. And her brown hair, I love it. Love her so, so much. So I was going to be asking 15 for this little girl right here. So if you guys are interested in her, please send me a message on Instagram at Little Sweet Sales and we can get that going. Also, I noticed if you could see on her little foot, her bow is like this way when it should be like that, like the other one. So I don't really get that, but that kind of what makes her special in my eyes. So it's pretty cool. So let's move on from her. Just trying to sort everything out as I go along. Next up, we have an Anastasia, Anastasia, however you want to say it. I've never seen the movie, so I don't even know what the, like, former pronunciation is. But I have a little figure of her. As you can see. I was asking for this figure right here. I think I have on Instagram 10. Let's go with 5 for her. On her foot, she has a trademark symbol of Fox 1997 applause toys. So there she is. And let's get $5 for her, like I said, since, you know, we're trying to get rid of stuff today. Let's put her over. Next up, I have the hat that I used for Halloween for my one look that I did for you. I did like a gothic prom look. So this is the hat that I ended up using. It has this 
specks of glitter. I think this would be super cute for a doll, big enough to fit it, or yourself if you want to use it for an outfit, photo shoot, or whatever you do, girl, do you. So I love this hat. I think that's really, really cute. Uh, again, Instagram. I think online I have five on it. Let's do three bucks on this hat. There's the hat. I still have more to go in this bag, so let's keep going through. There is a Buzz Lightyear plastic hard toy sort of ordeal. I want to say let's do on this like a buck. I probably, that's what I have on my page. There's not too many like rough toy play marks on it, which is excellent. So let's do like a buck on there. Right here, we have a vintage camel cigarette, like a cozy for a beer, and it looks like the camel with the sunglasses, which is hilarious and freaking awesome. I think that is so cool and unique. So I want to say on this, let's do five bucks on the camel cigarette holder guy. I think that's so freaking cool. I'm not going to lie, I have one myself over on my shelf. So I have a whole set of these. I don't know if they're all in this bag. And you know what? I don't think they are because I'm only seeing a couple of them. So I believe there is a set of maybe eight or nine of these little figures. I forget their certain name. I have them with the listing on my page, like what they're called. But I guess they're from McDonald's, old McDonald toys. They have a mark of Meg for McDonald's Corp. And I don't have a date, unfortunately. So that one didn't say a date. No, they don't want to give me a date. Nope. Anyways, I want to say like 2000s, possibly. And for these, I think I want to say I had three or four bucks. You can definitely check my page, though, to find out the exact pricing that I have on stuff. So I'm going to put those aside so I don't even know where my set is. Once we see them throughout the cast, I could show you the rest of them. Let's go ahead and do this bag. So this is a Vera Bradley tote. I like the colors. I think it's very like fall, warm, yet kind of with the purple. Cool. I love it. The inside is clean. And it also has a couple little odds and end pockets. So let's do a quick in and out on this. I guess you could honestly even, no you can't, can you? Yeah, you could even use it like inside out if you really, really wanted to. If you wanted this pattern opposed to the other one. There's the tag and then the pockets would be outside then inside. So for this bag, let's say 10 bucks on the bag perfectly clean, really never been used, and kind of versatile that you can switch it around. I believe this is also on my page that I have a listing for that. Okay, let's keep going on. This is a fun one. So this is a little porcelain cat doll. She is pretty small. I want to do on her three bucks and she's just so tiny and petite. I just think she has such a fun like little face and just uh I like miniature dolls. I think that's like all the rage right now, is it not? Look at she has her little paws as well. So cute, so cute. Yeah, let's do three bucks on the miniature little cat doll. Let's see. Should we keep it going with dolls or how about this bag? This is actually a good one. So in here, I have some treasured teddies that I'd like to do as a set. I believe for the treasure teddy set, I wanted like five bucks, which is actually what I'm gonna stick with. And for this set, they're actually cats, most of them. I believe maybe there's like one teddy. Yeah, here's the one teddy, a sailboat. And I can show you guys details. Let's just sit them there. I'm gonna do for all of them five. A lot of them are just like little cat ones. So if you're a cat lover, this is definitely 
for you or you know it's funny because i got a whole set of these and when i get a whole set i mean like 50 of these in an auction years ago these are the last of them that i have uh when i got them i gave them as gifts my one friend was obsessed with cherished teddies if you never heard of them they are just the cutest little stinking things oh he's jumping but there he is to tell the tale and they also made cats so we also have cat ones and you would be getting with this set five whoo three four five four five bucks I like these too because I will say what they are made out of they last I have a little um, keepsake, like, treasured teddy bear I'm looking at right now. It's over on my shelf. And that thing has been through moves and just odds and ends, falls. So I think these are so cute for just, like, kids' shelves to lay in up a room even. I gave them as gifts the one year. My friend, you know, obsessed with cherished teddies. I said, I have so many of them. I gave them one each to, like, family members and stuff. And they really, really liked them. And they thought they were adorable. And I just... It was a hit. But now, you know, these are the last of them, and I'm ready. I'm not very much of a cat person. I'm more of a dog person. So I figured it's time for them to have a new family. And this one is missing newspaper. So she's going to need some then. Okay. So let's slide these kiddos over here to my den pile, and let's keep moving on. I'm going to grab this little guy right here. So right here, we have a miniature troll doll who has this crazy pink fuchsia colored hair. He looks awesome against this and sunglasses. This one has a marking of Korea on the bottom, made in Korea, which is nuts. I actually didn't even realize that till right now. I thought he was maybe like a Hong Kong, but it's Korea. He has a little mark right back here on his foot but other than that he's in great condition so let's do three bucks on the mini troll doll i don't know what he is on my page but i'll adjust prices whatever needs to be adjusted once i go on i'm gonna probably look back at this video later tonight or maybe early the next day and get back to you guys with what you want because it's a monday and i could like ship stuff so there's that we have some clothes here. Let's throw that over because we're not doing that right now. All right. I have two of these matching bunnies. I don't know. Let's just say like a dollar a piece on them. They're clean. You can give them as an Easter gift, whatever kind of gift. There's two of them. If you have twins, there you go. Well, let's keep going. <laughs> here is a sugar loaf little like Halloween bat with like neon colors. I'm not gonna lie, personal collection, but I'm trying to, you know, pick through, get rid of some stuff, like I said, for Christmas gifts uh, to get money. And I just thought this was so fun. I love anything Halloween and bright and just like boom in your face. So let's do on him since he does have a tag, five bucks and any offers will be accepted at some point. So there he is. He's also on my page if you're interested in him. Let's keep going. This personal collection. I got her thinking I was going to have this perfect space to put her. And I was just so obsessed. I'm still so obsessed with her. But I just feel like she needs to be in somebody else's home. Else's home. Because I just have so much like little knickknacks that I don't know where I would put her. So she has this beautiful, and I think this is handmade, sculpted dress. Look at the freaking details in it. I just think it's so pretty. The bow in the back is so pretty. Her hair. And she's faceless. Which I'm not sure like if this is handmade from somebody. If this is from a line of something. I have no clue. Let's do on this five bucks. On that. And so you guys know that is my shop minimum on my Instagram. Uh, is five dollars. So anything you would be getting is mostly five dollars. And then I have like dollar stuff as add-ons. Let's continue on. This is actually an interesting one. This is a Doma Ghostbusters edition Slimer. I've never seen anything like this before. So when I had the opportunity to grab it, I grabbed it. I'm asking $5 for it. I think online I have 10. So take that into advantage and get yourself a little green Doma. And yeah. Uh, 
because that's how big it is. I don't know. I just think that's really cool. I like Ghostbusters, so. I'm not, like, a Doma fan, though. I don't really even know what Doma is. I think it's, like, a Japanese character. I don't really know. But yeah, yeah, yeah. This, I believe, this is, um, my little pony stuff. I believe that was sold. If not, anything, like, sometimes sales fall through and stuff. So anything that does fall through will, you know, just be up on my page. So look for it. And so you guys know, I will be having Christmas balls and different things probably by Tuesday. I want to say for sure by Tuesday, you're going to see Christmas balls, handmade art pieces, and different odds and ends up on the sale page. So if you're interested in that, that will be up. And I have a couple, I should have some odds and art pieces up there as well already. So next we have this big troll. He has some marks on his face, which would probably come up with some warm water or something or other. It just looks like dirt marks. His outfit, though, has no marks on it whatsoever. So, And he's like a bigger size standing one. So I want to say, since he has those dirt marks, I'll do $4 on him. He is on my page already. I believe so. So let's throw him over in the pile. And he has his rust mark on his foot still too if you're wondering my cuticles are dead by the way on my middle finger i don't know if anybody knows that it's like killing me i'm like been a very nervous person moving on i have a vintage which has some markings on the front there which i just noticed uh barbie thermal lunchbox kind of in like a beat up condition no firmness unfortunately on this it's like uh uh, I want to do like a five on this. I guess I have five on my page on it. So we'll do five. Obviously offers are always welcome. You could just message them to me and I normally accept offers because I want stuff gone. This is how big it is. Just like the size of a regular plastic lunchbox. Alright, continuing on. There's a shoe. Let's move that out of the way. We got pants. Going through this all. I have a whole thing of Christmas cards. And then I do my friends' presents. Let's move that. We are cleaning up today. We are getting crap accomplished, aren't we? You know what? These aren't on my these might be on my page. I don't know if these are on my page, but if you're interested, you know, just hit me up for them. These are great pans, by the way, guys. These are common aluminum mini muffin pans. If you guys ask me if you could, well, it's Comet and Kitchen Pride. This one's Kitchen Pride. This one's Comet. And then I have one more of the Kitchen Pride ones. I'm going to do, if you want one tray, it's three bucks. And for all of them, I would take, like, I was gonna say like maybe six for all of them but I don't know if anybody would want like three things of like mini muffin pans I have no clue if you do message me like I said they might be all my page. I have no clue I have like a bunch of stuff on there let's do him next because he's close to me this is just a little bumblebee guy stuffed animal he has little sneaks super cute little pink nose um, he's missing a little poofy, but honestly, you could cut that and you could wrinkle your own little poofies on him, but he's a cutie. Uh, let's do three bucks on this little bee friend, and he has glossy little wings back there too, which is cute. All right, let's grab her her next. She's right here. This right here is a porcelain doll. She, I guess, is in like a prism prism, prism, religionism, I don't know the word, you know what I'm, a baptism outfit, what, I don't, whatever, let's move in on, she's in her baptism outfit, her head, okay, is that like weird for me to just feel like, can we look at it, like it's really pretty, like her hair is sculpted really nice, like I look at the finer things in life, as you can tell, Anyways, I want to point out to you guys, as I'm ripping her bonnet back onto her little head, um, her markings on this doll. Like, I'm not familiar with porcelain too much. It's not, like, my forte. Uh, but she has this marketing right here, which tells you it's, like, a BB Baptism doll. Like, it's not just one to look like it. It was made as a christening doll. 
or like dressed like that it is her original outfit so there's on the neck so you can tell now the upsetting thing about her is when I got her she had one booty on and I saw a booty was just laying at this benefit that I went to on the table and I was thinking is that her booty is that not her booty I have no clue and I don't know if I should take it because I don't want to take something that belongs to another doll well guess what it was her booty and I left it there so she is wearing one booty and one no booty um everything's intact though beautifully sculpted like I said and she also has her 24 karat little bracelet. I looked up online, that's like the thing about this doll, that bracelet. I wanna say, $15. i am confident with 15 because she goes for a, a lot, 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 I can't even describe you, a lot more guys, a lot more. And if no one's interested in her, I'm probably just gonna take off the christening outfit and put something else on her and keep her, cause she's, gorgeous it's and honestly like I wouldn't even know if I'd keep the bonnet it's just that hair sculpt on her it's so awesome I love it uh my little thing on snapped I have to get it back there we go okay ah. let's put her over here okay we have a baby care bear right here wearing a diaper looking happy living life I'm gonna say three bucks on baby care bear I have his tag, American Greetings, and he is from Baby Tugs. What is this? Is there a year? Yeah. 1983, there is a year. Woohoo! So there he is. That is already on my page for you guys as well. We have one of my classical favorites from a kid. There is a place called Paws and Claws before Build a Bear. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it. I was obsessed with it as a kid. I went there all the time. This is the hippo from Paws and Claws, and he's wearing a little tuxedo top. He is so freaking precious. I'm asking five on him. He doesn't have his pants, unfortunately. I'm sure you could find him, even like Build-A-Bear now clothes, little pants for him. And he's just so cute. If you are married or you have like your husband, like his little groom hippo, like, I don't know. I think he's adorable. He stands really like proud and nice too. Like where if he had shoes on, flat ones, he would stand so cool. So there's that hippo for five bucks in great shape too. Fur is in excellent condition. Down here we have a baby Care Bear. Just sitting there looking nice. This looks like it might be called like Soda Pop Care Bear or something or other. Its tag is very, 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 very faded. So it's no longer readable unfortunately and I'm gonna do five bucks on this care bear since it's pretty clean and for a vintage condition it's looking great and it's purple so let's do five on that oh, let's keep going this is my whoa a hair just flew over in our section okay this is my hippo that I custom made out of a cabbage patch doll this is one of my handmade goodies that I make and I have a lot more handmade stuff coming and on my page already. So I think I have 45 or maybe I changed it to 35 or something like that on my page. Um, for you guys today, I'm going to be offering the price of 25 doll hairs on my hippo. Why did I say hippo? It's because I had the other hippo and I want to make a hippo. This is an alligator. It obviously has a tail. <laughs> It has a little pedicure and it's schoolgirl outfit on. You can find this on my page underneath. I think it's like Silly Susie Alligator or something funny I put his name as. And eventually I want to do a hippo like that with the same, you know, face details. Yeah, you feel me. You feel me. Okay. Pink hamper. That's where I had all the stuffed animals. Moving on. Let's keep it rolling, guys. Well, I have this in front of me. You know. I'll do this. All right, so here is a T-Rex toy. His mouth opens. He does have some noticeable paint chips and stuff, so I'm gonna say three bucks on him because of paint chips and odds and ends. He's not bad sized, and he would be such a fun, I feel like, custom repaint. So if you don't buy him, maybe I'll custom repaint him and resell him. So there is he. Okay. 
Guys, we're going to take another small intermission break, and I'm going to get some more stuff to show you for, like, the toy doll portion of this. So, I will see you in a couple minutes. Hey, guys, and I'm back with more to show you, as you can see from the corner of the screen over here. Let's start out with the most noticeable thing that I saw that caught my eye is this orange star care bear this is super cute i love this i believe the year on this little guy is 2003 i was gonna say 2004 that's a good guess he's super clean super cute and i just i think he's so fun and bright colored and just adorable so let's do five bucks on the care bear right here so let's keep going Right here, I have this little balloon animal looking purple dog. He's super cute. Air cannot escape from him. He is filled up and ready to go. So I want to say on this little balloon animal purple dog, let's do... Uh, how about five bucks on this little guy? I also found, I want to let you guys know, and I'm going to take the camera then and kind of like zoom in while, how about I just lay it out? I will lay it out and we'll go from there. So, I love looking at eBay stuff where you can get a bunch of small toys for one price. I don't know about you guys, if you're not into that, that's perfectly fine, but that's like something I like to look at and shop for and buy. So, I have a couple odds and ends, small items that I want to put all together for just like one price for you guys. And I'm also going to be taking a picture of that then as well for your consideration. So I found a few odds and ends. I'm going to put them all together and show you and come up with a price. Kind of like just pretending it's like an eBay listing. And I also found this is the other ones that went to that set I was showing you before. So it is a set of two four six eight i was correct eight of those so let me just put this all out for you i don't know if i want to add anything to this and honestly i might add stuff to what i'm about to show you on this pile and if i do i will have it on my page and you can see what i added to it and if you're still interested in it you know you're welcome to it if not you know that's okay too so all of the smaller it's not okay i'm gonna make sure i have all of like the little smaller items to show you guys that i have available right now and this girl's head flew off because i was thinking about doing a project with her but for the sake of buying stuff i'm going to include her on what i'm about to show you And there you go, her head's back on. Yep. Easy done. Okay. I'll just throw her there. So let me take you guys in and show you what there is. So this doll, the one who just put the head pack on, you would be getting her included with the bunch. I think she's actually from the Rockers. I was told by somebody before in one of my videos that's who she is. Barbie and the Rockers, like an older doll. So there's a Monster High head here, a Planet of the Apes game. There's like looks like a little doll bed, keychain, a head. This is in the package, some kind of like Pokemon card. Hello Kitty, more heads. That stuff I showed you earlier, I just threw in with that. So there's definitely other stuff I'd want to throw in with that. So I think at the end of the day, when I find the rest of the stuff I want to put in with it and I take the picture for you guys, it's probably going to come out, I at least want it to come around $10. So this is definitely, to me, the stuff I have here is worth maybe like all together five bucks so I definitely want to double this so I'm gonna take my time then to go and look and see what else there is but for now I'm gonna put this all off to the side and we are gonna move on to our next item which is super cool it is this cup right here and I love that we have this purple theme going on today with so many of the items I'm showing you this cup is a monster jams cup 
I have no clue if you put in batteries if it will light up or what will do. This one was called like Grave Digger, I guess. So I think this even pops off for like washing purposes so you don't ruin the eyes or anything. I want to do $5 on this cup. I think it's really cool, vintage. And I just think cups are just so cool because they're so, you know, you can use them, which is great. It's not just something you stare at and it's sitting on a shelf. Which I can't complain because these shelves are like packed with stuff so I can't really say anything. Anyways, let's keep going. I have this bendable, I think this is Chrissy or Stacy doll. She's actually very tall, as you can see, too. Bends any way that you want to put her. And underneath her, the cool part about these dolls are they're wearing a bikini. This one has, like, a little yellow bikini. Some of them have different bikinis. So, and, ooh, she has her earrings, too. Is there Mattel 1986 is the date on this one. She is so fun. I think I want to do five on her. I think I had ten before. I think I want to do five on her because I want somebody to be in able to, like, enjoy her and have her. So let's do five on her. Throw her over onto this growing freaking pile. Next, I have this bunny right here. It's just a little white bunny. Let's do a dollar. You could throw it in if you guys are getting something for the holidays for somebody or yourself, which you should be treat yourself whoa bunny just flew down treat yourself he's not going onto the pile there's too much anyways he's he's there this i don't even think i have on my selling page i have this on my facebook yard sales but i would consider sending this this is really neat it is some kind of like vintage little container tin it's long looking i want to do three bucks on this as you guys know, anything you get has plus shipping. And I guess there was some kind of alcohol in this once before, but it's like a little Scottish gold tin. So let's include that in our sale. Uh, Halloween item. One of my favorite things. I love Halloween items. This is a wooden little cat with a pumpkin. I want to say on this, let's do three bucks on the wooden cat and pumpkin. I have this chunky little Care Bear, but he's definitely been through some stuff. I don't know, like, what I want to do with him because he is, like, so all over the place. Like, his nose is chipping off. As you can see, like, he has some, like, discoloration on his fur and stuff. I've had different ideas for him, but I want to see... Oh, and his little butt mark is all messed up. So I want to see if somebody is interested in him to give him a good home. Let's do three bucks on him to get him out of here with a good home. Maybe to customize him or do something cool with him. Here is a doodle bear. This is actually from my personal collection. And I decided, you know, trying to get money. So I'm going to get rid of him. I would like for him five bucks. He has this like little mark, I think, from the pen or whatever, which is so sweet. And up here... That and little girl just kept on him in the rose right there. So that's really cute. So you guys can have a doodle bear for $5. And I don't know if you saw the pattern on the feet, but I think that's really cool too, like the star pattern. All right, I'm going to show you this necklace. I'm not sure how much I have. I think I have this for 5 on my page. I want to do $3 on this. I think it's a fun statement piece. It has some little pink flowers. Do you see how I look right now? I look ridiculous. I'm like, look at this necklace. Um, I wasn't really going to show jewelry pieces uh, with the toys. I was going to do that when I did clothes, but I figured it's here, so why not? So, yes. For this, I want to do three bucks. Let's keep it rolling. I need to get more stuff. Let's grab this bag right here. There is, again, I want to do this with clothes, but I'll just show it to you guys now in case you're interested. There is a gold hat. This says, Kisses Pretty Gang on the back. As you can guess, it's Nicki Minaj. Super cute, and you can put your size, you know, to it. I'm going to do $5 on this, and I just think it's so precious. I mean, obviously, you would have to, like, fix this while you wear it. It would shape to your head, but... It's, like, never been worn. There's pretty much, like, no marks on it. So, yeah. There's cool hat. In this box right here, we have Whole Proof Fine Hostry. So, let's open this up, guys. So, you can see the paper is still in there. I'm going to move it out so you can see more. 
and the stockings are in here. So I want to do on these $5 for the vintage stockings. These are freaking precious. I honestly have a pair and I still wear them. So you're not getting just one pair in this box, by the way, guys. You're getting two pairs of stockings in this box. And I believe these are also on my page. If not, message me and we can go from there. But these are just so pretty. I just think they're gorgeous. And they're like hole proof. That was like, I guess, the thing back then. Let me see if I can get you a date on them as well. I think that'd be really cool. Try to see on the box. And, hmm. Made in the USA. But unfortunately, I'm not seeing a date on them. But this is white knee high. And the size on the side. Which is cool. I have actually my pair of when I don't use them for like photo shoots and stuff. I just hang them on the wall because I love vintage items. So I'm going to put that back in its bag. I see a bank over here, which is really freaking me. So let's look at the bank. This is like a money hungry bank. There is the top part. It has its little coin eyes stopper. So, I think I had 10 on this. I'm going to drop this down to 8. But I think this is such, like, it's in perfect condition. You can put a kid's name on here or put, like, what the money in here is going to be going towards. It's just such a fun little, like, investment saving bank and for a kid. And it's blue. And I, oh, I think this is so cute. I just love it. So, yeah, let's do 8 on this bank. If you guys remember, I showed you before that I had a Buzz Lightyear I think maybe we had like a dollar on that. Let's do a dollar on Woody as well. So actually my buzz is right here. I can pick him up. So these are like a dollar a piece. They're on my page. And they might even be cheaper on my page. Who even knows? So check that out. And I want to show you another little art piece right here. So this is like a pumpkin house. I have no clue how much I have for sale on this on my page. But let's do five bucks on it. This is perfect for a little fairy house outside. If you have like a big flower pot with a flower in it and you have it like on the side, that would be like so freaking whimsical and fun. I don't know. I wish I didn't kill plants and I'd probably have a nice one to show you guys, but I don't. So that is pretty much everything in this video that I want to show you that I have right now. If anything else that I find or I get in will be posted onto my page. If you're not familiar with my page, it's at Instagram.com, Little Sweet Sales. All of the sales go through PayPal. So if you're interested in something, everything will go through PayPal and we'll take care of it that way and you'll get your item. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this today. I am going to be having a part two of this, so please stay tuned during the week for Barb Miss to see that. I will be doing clothes and I'm so excited for you guys to see that because the clothes will include some purses um dresses little odds and ends that I find jewelry pieces so I hope you guys can join me for that and yeah so I will see you guys really really soon and thank you for watching bye